Hello friends and welcome back. So in today's video, I am doing a reaction video on the prices of houses here in South Africa. Today I'm specifically looking at an area called Westville, which is sort of like, okay, I live in the city of Durban and Westville is an area part of that city. It's like a town and it's, what what can I say? It's It's sort of in the middle. It's not like the most expensive houses are there or the most cheapest but it's it's like a nice area to live in so guys the reason why i'm doing this reaction video is also like a learning process but it's kind of difficult to go camping like all the time so i know that you'll enjoy my videos and this is sort of new that i'm trying out i'm trying it out on the main channel let me know your thoughts whether you like it whether you want me to react to other things or whatever and today in my reaction video, I'm going to be joined by a relative of mine. Her name is Tamia. She's actually my cousin's daughter. And Tamia, would you like to have a seat? And today, not only do I feel like it's a reaction video, I feel like it's a learning video for the younger generation because when I was small, like I didn't know what the prices of houses were in South Africa. And if I knew that in school maybe I would have paid more attention to my classes because like okay to me let me just ask you one question before we start looking at the houses right okay uh why are you smiling so much <laughs> this is the first time she's on on uh, YouTube so basically this is a reaction between a millennial which is me and to me I we googled what you are and it said you either a Gen Z or a Gen Alpha so you born in 2010? Yeah. So, I don't know, Google said she's either Gen Alpha or Gen Z. So this is a comparison between a millennial and a Gen Z, which we think she is. And uh, we're both going to look at the prices of houses, right? So, before we start, Tmian, just guess, right? I don't know if you know like this answer very well, but just okay. guess. How much is it to buy a house? Like... <laughs> just guess. Two, three million? Two, three more. Okay, yeah, that's not a bad. That's not a bad answer. So let's just Google now, right? Let's just Google what two million, two million ZAR, which is South African rands, Zud African rand. Uh, yeah. If you if you're living in South Africa and you didn't know why it was ZAR, now you know. And if you're living outside of South Africa, that's why it's uh, ZAR. So it, Z, which is Zud, is an Afrikaans word, and Afrikaans is one of the one of the elef, eleven official languages of South Africa. So let's say two million South African rands converted to US dollar USD. So two million South African rands is equal to one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars seven hundred and thirty nine. $114,739. So let's just say $115,000. And if we had to convert 2 million rand to British pounds, 2 million pounds to rands, no man. So 2 million rand is just over 86,000 pounds sterling. The, the price that you said is 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 okay it's like you can get something for that but let's see if you can get something like that in the area of Westville so let's uh, I'm just gonna use one of these uh, property uh, websites that sell houses and the nice thing about this one is that you can use a map okay here we are so we in South Africa now right that's our country I love in this area here called Durban and where okay you can see all of these uh, smaller towns in Durban uh, where's Westville yeah okay so this whole area here is Durban and this is Westville so let's go so it's already 380 properties let's just look at houses now right we won't look at apartments and vacant lands and farms and all. Just houses in Westville. Such. So on the website, it's giving us our order by default. So this is not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. But we'll have a look at 
at a few of them. Let's have a look at this first one. We're not sponsored by any of these uh, real estate companies. We just we're just looking at the prices of houses in this area, which is in Durban, which is in South Africa. Two point just under two point three million rand. So your your answer is kind of right because uh, yeah, you can get a house for between two and three million. How did you guess that, man? I don't know. It just seemed like right. I was expecting you to say like uh, 100,000 or something. <laughs> I was expecting you to give me a bad answer, but that was actually a, a good answer. So, as a, uh, this, this house is it's nice. It's got like an outdoor area. Let's see what it is. Uh, three bedroom, 2.5 bathroom, 10 uh, parking spaces. Okay, let's see how much this bond would cost. It would cost just under 25,000 Rand with an 11.5% interest rate over 20 years. So, Tamiya, why I wanted, why I was saying this is also like an educational uh, video, to buy this house, you'd have to pay around 25,000 Rand for 20 years. You can hear the silence. <laughs> so you're not even 20 years old as as we see. You are only... 13. 13 years old. Okay. So, why I was saying this is sort of like an educational video because when I was her, when I was your age, no one was telling me what the prices of houses was. I was going to school just, you know, happy to see my friends and go on lunch break and eat my lunch. I didn't know the importance of like school and stuff at that time. So imagine when you grow up, I don't even think most people even ha earn a salary like 25,000 Rand a month, let alone to buy a house that you have to pay 25,000 Rand a month. But this is a nice house. Let's sort this out by the lowest price again. Okay. As I said, Westville is like a nicer area. So the prices, these are not the cheapest houses that you can find in Durban. But it's one of, it's like a nicer area, so, let's see. So the the cheapest one, I uh, sorted it by low to high. What, are, what did you think about that first house? Nice. It looked nice. So it's starting around 1.4, 1.5. Four bedroom house, view by, okay, let's just have a look at this quickly. These are like aerial uh, pictures of it. So this is the cheapest house that we can find. 1.4 million, four bedroom house in Westville. It's it looks, yeah, I mean, it looks better <clears throat> than uh, the area that I live in because the houses of here aren't that good. I used to always wonder why people in our, my area used to like uh, renovate their house or build it up or you know like make it into a double story or like you know extend and stuff i was like why are these people like doing this in an area that i wouldn't even want to continue living the rest of my life in then i'm seeing the prices of houses and, I, and i'm like okay now it uh, now it's starting to make sense because the area that i live in it, it would be cheaper to to do that instead of going and buying a house in a better area Tanya, why don't you pick a house here that we can have a look at uh, look at this. Okay, one point, just under 1.6 million. Three bedroom. I'm only looking at it because I saw the pool, right? It looks nice. Inside, it looks like it needs a bit of painting and stuff. And those tires look a bit, like, outdated. Do you need to blow your nose? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, while Tamir is blowing your nose, um... This kitchen looks like it needs a lot of work. See, these cupboards are like broken and... This house definitely needs some work. And it is 1, 1.6 million. I think in my area, you can get like a really nice house for that price, 1.6 million. But as I'm saying, my area is not as nice as Westville would be. Let's look at another one with the pool. This one is oh, reduced. 1.65 million 1.65 million 
this roof looks like very weird. I don't know, look at it. Very slant. One of it. Okay, so there's a upstairs and there's a downstairs, and um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't want to stay in this house. Yeah, I know. Let's look at another place. This one here. Okay, so this was one point. It's been advertised by more than one real estate company. One has it at 1.85. One has it at around 1.7 million. Okay, this is much better. This house uh, it looks a lot better than the last one that we saw. So why we doing? Why I'm doing this reaction video? on the prices of houses is to sort of like educate people a little bit because no one was showing me this when i was younger i don't think like um we had access to all these property websites and we could just look around and see you know just browse i i don't know how many times i've been just browsing around these websites and i never actually with no intent to buy anything just to look around so the younger generation needs to know like that the prices of houses are, are like this much because i don't think they understand like the importance of school at a young age Tia, what do you like about school okay to be honest it's just to go there and see my friends yeah, yeah exactly you know you gave me the exact say, exact answer that i was expecting you to give me just go there see your friends eat your lunch uh, eat your lunch you gave me the exact answer i was expecting you to give me because to get a job, let's just go into this house that's 1.7 million, right? Uh, bond cost. So thus, the every the monthly repayment is just over 18,000 over 20 years. And what kind of job do you think you need to get to to pay? Okay, most most banks won't let you pay use your own your entire salary. To buy a house, they'll, they'll, I don't know um, what the percentage is, but it'll probably be like 30% or 40% of your salary will go towards a bond. Like, let's say you're getting paid only 18000 then. You can't go and buy a house with that money, at this house, because then you'll have no more money left. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The banks won't approve you for a house like this because... You, you can't you can't use hundred percent of your salary. Let's say you 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 are only getting paid eighteen thousand rand a month after deductions. You know what deductions are? Tax. Tax. Oh, hey, hey, you're not as stupid as I thought you were. <laughs> okay, you know a few things. Okay, what other deductions do you know about? Tax, medical aid. That's if your company even pays for your medical aid. UIF, um, some other stuff, but. Usually, most people pay, a, a, like a large amount of their salary goes towards deductions, tax and whatever else. It can be thousands of rands. So, let's say you are only getting paid this 18,000 rand. That was your monthly salary. You, you can't go and buy this house. Yeah. The bank won't approve it for you. Because, let's say, what's... I don't know, let me Google. Let me Google how much of your salary, salary can you use. How much... I was expecting them just to give me a percentage. A okay. SA home loans, this is generally generally a maximum of thirty percent. So thirty percent of your salary, let's say your your salary was only eighteen thousand then thirty percent of that would be five thousand four hundred then. That's the only amount that the banks would uh approve you for. So how you, so you wouldn't be able to afford this this house. So I just sorted this website by price, highest to low, high to low. The highest we can see here is twelve point five million. Doesn't look like it's worth twelve point five million though. Let's look. Let's have a look at this. This look. This house looks a bit better. This is just under eleven million. In Westville. This looks nice, huh? Yeah, but then what do you need such a big house for? It's got four parking garages. Which it's got a tennis court and 
Why would you need a tennis court in your house? Tina, you clearly been poor your entire life <laughs> because <laughs> because you, you the reason why you would want a tennis court is because you can afford a tennis court. This is this looks nice. Okay, this is, it's got a bar and everything. Nice house. Let's see, it's a five bedroom, six bathroom, 15 uh, parking spaces. The bond for this would be 116,000 rand a month. Let's see, let's just play around with this year thing. If it was 10 years, you'd have to pay 153,000. If it was 20 years, 116. If it was 30 years, 100 and, just say 108,000. So this, this almost 11 million rand house, it looks nice. You know what I mean? It looks nice, but like, wow. I mean, it's an expensive house. You won't need that, like. Yeah. You, it, 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 this is not about it being expensive. This is like affordability. You know, like, if you can afford it, you can buy it. That's why I'm telling you, you don't know the importance of school right now because you're just going there to see your friends. You see, if you had like the money to afford this house, you wouldn't be saying, oh, it's so expensive. Why would you need it? You'd just be saying, ah, I just want to buy this house. Let's have a look at this one here, which is sort of like half the price. Five point. It's about six million. Wait, five point six. So this house is, is listed by a few, uh, this one looks nice, this pictures, this looks nice, huh? it looks very spacious and the tabletop. That, that's just the kitchen. Wait, what? That's a kitchen. Oh, that's a kitchen. Oh, there's a fridge there too, eh? Mm -hmm. That looks nice. I like these uh, lights. Yeah. yeah. It looks quite spacious. So this is about 5.56 million. That kitchen looks nice. Imagine, imagine I'm uh, doing my cooking videos in the kitchen like that. Instead of doing it in your room. <laughs> hey, please. Hey. I'm just doing. I'm doing what I can over here. Okay, this looks like a bedroom. Nice bedroom. Spacious. How oh, this bathroom looks nice. Okay, wait, let's just have a look at this is a five bedroom house, three bathrooms. I don't know why they keep saying so many uh, parking spaces. I, I'm thinking that they're just saying that's the amount of yard space that you have that you can park a car in. 11 cars. Oh. Bond calculator, 63,000 rand a month. Oh, wait, I never have a look at this. Minimum gross monthly income would be just over 200,000 rand a month. So, you need to get a job that pays you a minimum of just over 200,000 rand. What job would pay you that much? Engineering or something, maybe? You, you're you in, what grade? Eight. Grade eight. What do you want to, when you grow up, what would you like to be? Well, the plan was a teacher. Like Teachers a, don't get paid that much. Not a teacher here, a teacher in a different country. Okay, I don't know. If you're a teacher outside of South Africa, tell us, uh, you probably won't be able to afford this because I'm not sure how much teachers get paid, by the way. But if you are a teacher and you'd like to l let us know, maybe you can leave a comment down. But I don't think teachers can. There's no way teachers get paid 200 and Yeah, of course. But... 200,000 rand a month here in South Africa. So if you're a teacher, you wouldn't be able to afford this house. So let's let me Google like salary of teacher in South Africa maybe <laughs> so this website South African teacher salary in 2024 I'm guessing this is an annual salary so like the whole year yes so oh. so for this house let's go back there right you have to pay you need a minimum monthly salary of 211,000 but yeah teachers are getting paid 200,000 rand for the entire year. Maybe you need to consider something Rethink that pays. Rethink my choices. Yeah, maybe you need to think about something that pays a bit more. 
because uh teachers uh, sorry man i mean not sorry but you are considering being a teacher and why why would you want to be a teacher i don't know i like it would be nice to like teach children i don't, I don't know why. you do you like children some some children so what happens if you like some of the children in your class and you don't like the others <laughs> Okay so basically let's go back you wouldn't be able to afford this house for for the teacher salary let's go back to it being okay, let's just have a look at a few more this house looks nice unless they just took nice nice pictures of it but it not nah, it does look the pictures nice. look like they have a filter yeah These look like Instagram pictures of the house. It probably is. No. But it looks very filtered like edited. Mm. Okay, bond cost 45,000. So, wait, what was teachers getting paid? 200,000 rand a year. Yeah. 200,000 divided by 12 months. 16,000, wait, let's go back to that. So this website says primary do teachers get only paid that much okay this is indeed teacher salary in south africa the average salary for a teacher is 11900 per month teachers do so much of work and that's all they get no wonder they striking all the time <laughs> well they haven't been striking for some time but you always when i was in school they used to be striking all the time even this past couple of years to hear them striking but not like recently teachers strike yeah they be, they're always striking I've but now i've never heard like one time about teachers like going on strike or anything well they have that's why i'm saying like in recent years they haven't been but like i know that they always used to be striking like every other year what do they even like what do they do to strike like do they not, not go to school yeah not go to school <laughs> Strike doesn't mean you're going to do, going to do something bad. You just don't do your work, your job. That's just a free pass for children then because they can do whatever they want. You see, yeah, yeah, okay, sort of. Hey, teachers, if you're watching, let us know what you can buy with your salary. Let's let's filter it down to low lowest price. So this is the lowest 1.4 million. Bond cost, minimum uh gross monthly income 50,000. Forty-nine thousand seven hundred and sixty-six monthly. Yeah, that's a month. Let me. So if you're teaching, you can't. You cannot buy any sort of house with your own with your single salary. You can't buy any house in Westfield with a, a single teacher salary. Wait, but I'm not sure if these salaries are correct. I don't know. Can we believe the internet? Should we just believe it? Yeah. On the first thing, salary of a teacher in South Africa. primary school teacher 200000 this is the first result that came on google and then the second one was indeed teacher salary in south africa that's basically like 12000 rand a month yeah. you, you need to pay more attention in school if you want to buy a house you need to be more than not let's see okay let's go from houses to apartment let's take a uh, like apartments or flats would i think be more affordable than buying a whole entire house Okay there are 56 apartments here. Let's let's just go yeah, go to the cheapest one. This one is 620,000 rand for like the whole apartment building. No, it, you don't get the whole building. You you just get one bedroom here. See, it's a one bedroom, one bathroom and one parking space. For for that much? Yeah. What the hell? How how how? Hey, you can buy. Wait. Minimum monthly gross 22,000. Did this website say it was too uh no wait when we calculated what was it 16000 yeah i don't know you see you see i told you this video was going to be educational because you just found out that with your with a teacher salary you can't really buy a even an apartment let's see if it's let's raise this i raised it from 20 years to 30 years and it went up went down by like 500 rand that's it's still a lot it's still 6000 You still need a monthly gross salary of 22,000. You know what? You know what most people do? What? 
you see when like when people get married they have a joint income mm-hmm. so the husband and the wife would apply for a loan for a house together so it'll be two salaries together yeah it wouldn't just be a teacher salary it would be a teacher and whatever the husband or the wife or what if the husband is also a teacher then then what then it would be uh yeah then you probably could afford this uh this apartment <laughs> i don't know if you'll be able to afford a house so let's say you are getting what was it 16 17000 a month and then spouse would be let's say it's just un, just with two salaries it's about 35000 that's it yeah minimum monthly gross salary 31800 so would i don't know maybe we should look at a cheaper uh, cheaper Please. area che- not cheaper place a cheaper area enti- entirely instead of westwood let's maybe we'll look at that in an, in another video this is a bit of a, like an eye opener video because i don't think most people well when i was younger i didn't even know so you, you, it's good that you're learning but you're not the only one and if you have children watching like try and educate them about this because the, <sighs> Trina is in high school now right and i i honestly don't think she understands how important this time in her life is because it determines the person that you will eventually become later on you can't be worried about lunch and friends and all things just uh, one lunch you take by the way uh, i get lunch money i don't take lunch. you get lunch money i never used to get lunch money i just take lunch I what lunch. do you buy for with this lunch money we have two things in the tax shop so it's either burgers or rolls and then there's like and then there's snacks this apartment is 900,000 rand once again it's going to cost about 10,000 rand a month some people don't even earn 10,000 rand a year a month in south africa but for like a one bedroom one bathroom one parking space it's like so much yeah you living in your house and it's more than that you get it's more than a one bedroom and you like even the small house i mean even this house that you living in well to me it doesn't live with me but she lives close by she's actually my cousin's daughter but she's here all the time so i thought <laughs> today would be a good like education video for her and also i want to start doing these reaction videos because i can't really go out all the time to do camping so uh I thought you know this would be a good start for my reaction uh, videos and what was it before you can't well before I was saying even your house that you live in right now which is more than a one bedroom house it feels small isn't it yeah and just to buy a one bedroom apartment cost 900,000 there well maybe we need to look at even well not lower areas maybe cheaper areas to buy not to buy just to to react to in these videos uh give us some suggestions in the comments what are, what you'd like us to review this is a nice apartment one point oh it looks kind of nice 1.35 that's to rent it no that's to buy buy it. one point uh just under 1.4 million but you need a gross salary monthly salary of just under 50000 rand a month i think like a vet would get paid that much or like maybe a little bit more a vet vet so you, your two options is either to be a teacher or a vet yeah okay let's see the first, salary the of first uh, option was a vet but then i had second thoughts vet salary of a veterinarian in south africa the average salary of a vet is that's lower than teachers that, that, no it... oh the average wait they they giving all i don't know what's up with google in google they... does not what we're talking about hmm. one is saying 600000 per year but you have to have the clients coming in like you have to uh, you know, if you're owning a veterinarian um clinic or business or whatever you have to have pe- like yeah it has pe- to be like a it has to be busy like 
you have to have like uh, clients coming in all the time with their sick um, animals and stuff. De- it doesn't just mean that you're going to earn that amount. Yeah, it, it just varies. because you're depends. a vet. It depends how busy you're going to be. If you're a vet, or you know a vet, or you know how much vets get paid, comment it down below. But I don't know. I think that's like if you own your own like clinic. Yeah. And it's busy. Yeah. If you own your own and it's busy, maybe you can get six hundred thousand per year. That would be fifty thousand. Yeah, that would be six hundred thousand a year. Would be fifty thousand a month. That's just enough to buy. Yeah. This. Wait, how well, that you? that would be your salary, but to pay for this apartment would be uh, just over fourteen thousand. For a two bedroom, one bathroom, and. Do you bathroom. see when they're saying gross salary? That's your salary before all those deductions. Bef- that's your salary mm-hmm. before your taxes and all. So just because you're getting paid fifty thousand doesn't mean you're gonna see the fifty thousand. Yeah. You might pay like twenty percent will go for deductions. Twenty percent? Yeah, maybe even more. Maybe you'll only get thirty something thousand. Even though your salary would be fifty thousand, you'd only be getting around thirty five or thirty eight six or something or thirty eight. 30 something, but you won't be actually getting the 50,000. Here they're calculating on the gross salary, which is your salary before any deductions. You understand? Yeah, but like you're paying deductions, you're working, and then you're paying to work. No, you're paying the government for like tax, and then you're paying for medical aid and stuff like UIF and whatever. Yeah, but like, why do you need to pay the government if you're the one working? You have to pay your taxes. What? I don't know. For them to run the com- uh, country... It's not my problem if they need to run the country. Where, where are they going to get money from? I don't know. From their own... Why do they have to take money from, from their own, own? From their own pocket? No, yeah. they don't get money from their own pocket. They need money from taxpayers. See... So they, see, take, you, the, you, so okay. they take the hard-earned money that we make so they can run the country that we like basically studying for and like getting money for so we can leave... Yes. Everybody that's working is paying taxes. Even no, you you even pay tax on uh the things you buy. Value added tax. Like yeah, anything yeah, yeah, you no, buy. Yeah. Va- you learn that in school. Yeah. Like bread and stuff you're paying tax on. Bread, milk, basic uh, groceries. Uh what I was going to tell you something before. Yeah, you are basically paying deductions. So this this um he's saying gross monthly income that's fifty thousand but you won't even be getting that fifty thousand let's say you get thirty five thousand and then this apartment would be around fifteen thousand that's like thirty percent of the salary yeah thirty percent of your salary so twenty percent of your salary is already going to the government and then yeah. another thirty percent towards your the place you're renting no, you would. That would be the 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 price to okay, buy yeah, it. To like to buy, buy it, it, but then you're paying monthly just to hmm. make you're up paying, all that money. You're paying money over twenty years. So you could eventually buy it and like own it. Yeah. After you pay this amount for twenty years, then you it'll be free owned and you'll own it basically. So you're learning a lot today. You're learning not to worry about what lunch you take into school and uh, learning to focus on <laughs> what you want to become in life. <laughs> I'm learning more here than I learned in my EMS class. That's the thing. They never, when I was in school too, they never, they never taught us anything about this. They were teaching us like geography and things that you probably will never use again in your life, like clouds and stuff. Well, it is raining here today. This week, it is raining. But like, unless you're going to become a weatherman, why we, I think in some subjects in school, I could have learned most of it, like watching a YouTube video or something. Exactly, like our teachers make it so hard to explain, but you go on YouTube and watch one video and somehow you understand it. No, that's the thing. Like, I was learning, let's say you, I'm just taking, uh, let's say any subject, but I'm, I'm going to just use geography because I feel like it, it didn't benefit me at all. Let's say in, in school you were studying geography. Mm. I think an entire year's worth of school work you could learn watching one or two youtube videos yeah. about geography and stuff like that 
But or just like like everything you can learn in one day and then you're writing exams for this thing that you'll never end up using again after you finish school. They, exactly. And if you they don't teach that exam, people, they don't teach children about what the prices of houses is and tax and what, you know. Like, like, they, like they teach us about tax and bat and this and that, but like they don't teach it like fully. They like give us like a little bit, like 1% of it and then somehow we're supposed <laughs> to understand it. I don't know if it's like everyone or they, just my teacher. No, no. I think it's 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 a general thing. Like uh, they teach you about it, but they don't teach you about what you what how it's gonna affect you in life. Exactly. You know, they just teach you. Okay, this is tax and and this is a uh, mono um, uh, gross salary and this is net salary. They don't actually teach you. Like when you're going to buy a house, your gross salary is not the salary that you actually have in your bank account. It's just your what you what everything that you make before deductions so just because your gross salary is 50000 doesn't mean you're actually getting 50000 and now you're comparing to you comparing these salaries to what you actually you comparing these prices of houses to what you actually want to become and like those if all of my options aren't sounding very good right now yeah i think you should uh, study towards becoming like an engineer or something but your, how is your marks in school Let's not talk about that. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. You don't understand the importance of school. You only understand the importance of school, like from my personal experience, after you finish school. You don't realize it while you're in school. While you're in school, all you care about is your friends and everything, mm. like, everything other than the actual work. Okay, so let's say you, you eventually become a teacher. Okay. And you start earning the teacher salary. Yeah. You couldn't buy this uh, this uh, flat, this uh, apartment. You won't be able to afford it. Mm. And no, no banks or financial institutions would approve you for this. So you would have to buy like a way cheaper apartment, or you could study something that pays a lot more. Yeah, but then that's depending if you even get the job. Oh yeah, that's depending if you can even get a job in that field. Like if you like have qualifications, you still need to like apply and get the actual job for it. So what if you don't, then what? Yeah. You studied for yeah. nothing. Also, the times that we live in... It's hard is, to get a job. No, not only that is, but there's in advancements in like technology and even AI and all. AI like uh, could replace people's jobs. So... Just because you studied something doesn't mean that you'd have that job forever. You see, you see on this um, on this bond calculator, it says you have to pay that loan term for twenty years. What if you, you don't even have a job it. for twenty years? That's the thing. What if you don't even have a job for twenty years because you know, like technology could replace you or AI could replace you, and that's that's a bit sad because I know that. Uh, I know that there are people going to jobs, like every day they go into their job, even though they don't enjoy it and it's not their dream job, but they're going to this job because they need to uh, provide for themselves or their families or whatever. And they're not even happy about this job. But what if they end up losing that job? What if they're replaced by some uh, techno technological advancement or like what if AI replaces them? And then the job that they didn't even enjoy doing, they don't have anymore. Mm. Uh. Yeah. You know? The j I, because I know, because I'm one of them. <laughs> like, I, 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 I have a job, but it's not my dream job, but I, I do it because it's, uh... Because I need a job, like, you know. What was your dream job? Like, what did you actually want to do? Um, I wanted to become a pilot, but I didn't have the marks for it. I, like, I didn't, I didn't pursue it because I, I don't know, maybe I just, it was sort of like a dream that I just d kept dreaming about. But I also thought I would, I would fare well in some sort of like um, entertainment thing. Like, as you can see, we're on YouTube now, right? But I had, like, dreams of being in the entertainment I industry. I mean, you kind of made those dreams come true. Sort of, but I'm not getting paid, like, millions, like, actors or something. You know, like, Hollywood actors or, 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 or like, singers or whatever. So, even though I had that dream, and it sort of came true, it's not, like, 
fulfilling like you know it's not like i'm uh, a millionaire or i'm i'm uh, enjoying the the fruits of the labor you know so uh what were we going to talk about i got confused now we were talking about houses then somehow we were still talking about school <laughs> now i don't know okay so uh i was saying like you know i still do it even though it's not my dream job and uh it's like monday to friday a normal job but let's say almost most people don't really enjoy their job i would say i would say more people don't enjoy their job than people that actually enjoy their job so what if they were to be replaced by something and then uh, i don't know this this video is becoming like scary all of a sudden you know because these terms like 20 20 years what if you don't even have the job to pay for that amount exactly you know? like you paid that amount for like let's just say you had that job for 10 years mm. you paid that amount every month for those 10 years right. then you lose your job and then what you're not getting your money back no you 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 probably will get repossessed exactly people say this is the best time to be alive but some uh, it's also like the scariest time to be alive because you don't know what your future will be exactly and like the people that are like still in school by the time we get out of school what if like What if nobody even needs you? Exactly. What if no jobs need you? <laughs> like but like what well, I still have like four four five more years of school and then I still have to go to college after that. Right. Then I still need to get my degrees and all. Right. Then what's going to happen after that like cuz the world is like slowly evolving. Yeah, just So like, by that time what if like people aren't working anymore? what if everything just That's the thing. Technology. That's the thing. They there's so many advancements in technology when you know you know what the population of the the planet is. Like it it got Yeah, it's uh, just over oh, it's just over 8 billion population population of the world. Okay, this is 2022. But I know okay, world population clock 8.2 billion current world population is just under 8.2 billion 8.2 billion people that need to eat every day well i don't think all of them are like working some are children uh, some are children some are senior citizens but let's say half let's say 4 billion people need jobs for whatever reason you know to provide for themselves or their family What I'm saying is there's been so much of advancement in technology. Let's let's listen. Let's think about like uh, music. Back in the 50s and 60s and all they used to have those big records. You know those round ones they they used to Okay, you probably don't know anything about it. Let me just google a picture here. Uh music record. Images. So this was a record. I saw, I saw those in some movies. Yeah, you you saw it but you didn't know what it was. So, uh let's just look at the picture. This is like a record player. It had that needle and it that it would spin and it would play a song. So, after this, after these uh, records, music was uh consumed by cassette tapes. You know those cassette tapes? See, you probably don't know about any of these things. Cassette. I even forgot how to spell it. Cassette. cassette tape Do you ever saw one of these? In a movie. You never saw a cassette tape in real life. That's what I'm saying. Music went from records being play, being uh, consumed by playing records, then it went to cassette tapes, then it went to CDs and then like now it's just MP3. What now it's digital. Digital, digital yeah. like Spotify and YouTube music and all. That's what I'm saying the advancements in just like one like one person's lifetime when were they playing using records in the 1950s or 60s or something so that was like 70 years ago in one person's lifetime M- music has changed so much so much consuming music you you went from the record to the cassette to the CD to basically having nothing now. Yeah. there's no actual physical uh thing that like you Like you don't use. need a cassette or a CD or yeah. whatever. You just go on your phone, type it in and you have it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The world has changed so much in the past couple of decades. Who knows how it will change in the future decades. 
that's what I'm saying it too because like everything is digital now like before when you needed to go do research or something for like a project you had to go to the library okay like yeah, in, in I, your time you I remember I remember going to the library and it and it was nice now these days you just go on our phones print it out and we have it <laughs> yeah look at more houses yeah this house this video turned from houses and apartments to life <laughs> true true let me know your thoughts in the comments and let you can also comment about what other things you'd like us to react to and um i think this is like a good uh you know like i'm a millennial you're a gen z so i hope a lot of other kids that are watching are also like learning you know yeah. because they don't teach these things in school i don't think they ever will i don't i don't know why they teach us things that we don't need to know about and that we'll never use again after learning it they're not teaching you about life they just want to get you out of school right and just throw you into the real world and then when you come into the real world you don't even know what the price of houses is exactly this is this house is 4 million you need a minimum monthly income of 142000 this is some people's entire years income and that's just some people It's yeah that's most the, people those, are, are, like those are the that. lucky people even the people that have jobs those are the lucky people imagine the unemployed people what is the unemployment rate in south africa this video really took a turn um ploy south africa's unemployment rate rose to 33.5% so the unemployment rate is 33.5 so that's one third one third of adults are unemployed They don't even have a job. We're talking about the prices of houses and talking about like a minimum monthly income of 142,000 rand a month when they don't even have a job. Like thank you for watching. I think it's gone it's getting a bit depressing now, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe we'll look at uh, another area next next video. We can look at uh, maybe just the area that time, not a whole life lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 we'll stick to actually looking at the properties and like whatever but i wanted it to also be educational for people that are watching and don't really know about these things but i didn't know about it i'm i'm just looking at these websites and like sort of earning uh, learning and uh yeah thank you for watching we'll see you all in another video let us know what other places you are like to oh let let us know what at the videos y'all would like us to react to we can react to anything like yeah. yeah but i think this like dynamic of a uh, of a millennial and a gen z which we think you are it it's 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 like it's two points of views you know two very different worlds yeah now what you when you go to school tomorrow you're going to worry about your lunch and stuff or your friends not going to school tomorrow oh okay yeah but when you go to school whenever eh? no nah, i think it's like going to be more about like actually paying attention in class yeah you need a education okay now you know that you need a education because you need a job that can have, that can um, pay for a property or something thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video